Hi, my name is Sammy Davis, Jr. I hope you'll enjoy The Follies on NBC. Every week, The Follies brings you the greatest people in show business. I know these stars, and they are giving you their best performances. And you know something else? I know a lot of other people who are stars when it comes to giving. They are the volunteers and the people who help all year long across the country, the United Way. The United Way brings out the best in all of us. So join the great people who care enough to give the United Way. Peace and love and togetherness. Don't you know that they nurse it? What a great entertainer. Not me. This GE stereo system. It's got tape, AM, FM radio, phono, air suspension speakers. All in one beautiful bundle. Get some GE components. Can you dig it? You can dig it. Now, playing all over America, component systems by General Electric, the great entertainer. Speaking to you for the U.S. Air Force. And no matter what color, what race, what did you go to, baby? If you've got the qualifications, you can dig it, and they'll dig you. That's where it's happening, baby. And from a neutral corner, your host, Rocky Marciano, undefeated world's heavyweight champion. Spying with the fastest moving, little feet around, the little leader from Hollywood, Mr. Show Business himself, Sammy Davis, Jr. Sam, on your way up, I guess it must have been pretty rough, like most of the fellas in the fight game, but I know quite a few of your friends in Boston. They say you, you spent a lot of time there. Yes, I did. I, I lived in Boston for several years, as you know, and we have a lot of mutual friends. And we used to, well, everybody has it rough. You know, you walk into a place, I'll never forget, we were playing in, in Worcester. And uh, walked in, and I, my dad and my uncle and myself, we had about three sheets of music between us, but we had the pride of seeing when's the rehearsal going to be. And the fellow said, what rehearsal? So we said, well, it's got to be a band. He says, no, you, there's no band. You do it to the jukebox. So we did our whole act to Glenn Miller's In the Mood. Wow. On the jukebox. But, you know, these are rough things that make you appreciate the better days. Sam, Providence was a lucky place for me, and I think uh, the last fight I had there was uh, Phil Moscato. And then from then on, I, I, I sort of had a lot of luck. I came into New York and fought La Staza, and then I fought Joe Lewis. Rex Lane, Harry Matthews. Uh, I seem to get lucky right from the 28th fight on out of Providence, Rhode Island. In other words, there's always a, I guess this applies to an entertainer or a man in, in your profession, it's always a moment that happens. It's a turning point. Right, right yes. A, a moment that you can look back on and say, yeah, this was the beginning of something. Uh, with me, for instance, one day, my, my uncle, Will Maston, and myself, we're walking down in front of the Palace Theater. We ran into Bill Robinson. Will and Bill had been friends for a long time, and he said, I've been hearing about the kid. I said, how good does he dance? And right there on the street, I started to dance a little bit for him. So he said, come up in my agent's office. We went up in his agent's office. He started teaching me a, a few steps. And I always felt, really, that this was the beginning of something for me, because he was such an, uh, a gracious man. He gave me an insight. I always wanted to, like, kind of pattern myself, dance-wise, after Bill Robinson. He's a great man. Hey, but I didn't come here to talk about show business. And I, I came because I need your help for the fight. I got to do this picture. Now, I would like for you to tell me. See, now, the I, I, only kind of fighting I know is from, like, I was born in Harlem, you know, in New York. And street fighting. Now, I know it's a little different when you're doing a movie and you know, boxing. Now, I want to look good, you know. I want to look like a men's shop. Now, you should tell me nice. What do I have to do? Let's stand up and let me take a look at your style. Well, I, I've been working on a couple, you know. Nothing too. Nothing too flashy, you know? One of these here, you know, where you can kind of move around a little bit. You know, give it a little walk, and I figured I can do a little tap dance while I'm just sort of fooling around. Yeah, 
And I, I saw a pretty good punch, too. Put your, put your hand up for me. Ah! I don't want to do that. Come on, Sam. Sam, I saw you once. I didn't mean to hit you. An right. imitation of a great fighter. Show him that, Henry Armstrong. Oh, well, the Armstrong, he always had... Yeah. Here, down, up, 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 up. Like so. I, I love the, uh, the walkaways, though. You know, the walkaways are beautiful. Uh, Walcott? Walcott, you know. We... <laughs> <laughs> I remember well. <laughs> you do that perfect, Sam. Tell me, Archie Moore, can you do that guy? No, I can't do Archie. It was great, so great, I, I, I don't know, brings back a lot of memories. <laughs> Sam, Can you give me something, really? You know, Sam, I, I picture you as a Willie Pep type of a fighter. I, I guess if, a, if you and Willie Pep had fought and you'd had just a little bit of schooling, you'd have probably been the fastest fighter in, uh, of, any, of all time. You know, he usually wound up in back of a, an opponent and tapping him and, and saying, turn around, you know, let's fight this way. Yeah. <laughs> he was so great, so quick, so fast. I, if I were you, Sam, I'd just use your, your footwork, yeah. which is so great. Keep your hands up high, chin okay. down, close like yeah. that, you know, chin down. And just that, in your footwork, I mean, how can you miss? From you mean like this here? Right. The jab, usually lead with the jab, and keep this here yeah. for when you see an opening. You see? Yeah. But use this here mostly. Suppose you don't see no opening. Well, you gotta make one, Sam. Oh, I see. You step on his foot. No, no, sometimes you get under here, you oh. know? Then maybe he'll drop this, then you yeah. can get to here, see? Meantime, this will get heavy, and maybe you can come over here, <laughs> you see? <laughs> Something like that. That's, that's wonderful. Now, that's when do we, now, when do we start training? Uh, <laughs> Forget the train, please. <laughs> Sam, I got a great idea. We got a really great fight coming up. Basilio and DeMarco, two of the roughest welterweights of all time. I think we can try to teach you something here. Will you sign what you wouldn't? Sure. turns me on. He can boogaloo from night till dawn. Yeah, yeah. What I say. All right. Well, tell me what I say. Tell me what I say. Tell me what I say. Tell me what I say now. Tell me what I say. Tell me what I say. Tell me what I say. Yeah. 
everything's groovy. Ah, uh, yes, sir. 